ओके सो दिस इज़ द टेबल इन विच आई हैव मैंशन द डिफरेंट वेरियंट्स ऑफ सिम सेवन सिक्स डबल जीरो एंड दीज आर द रीजन्स विच आर सपोर्टेड बाय दीज वेरियंट्स ओके अलॉन्ग विद दैट दीज आर द डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दीज कैटेगरीज लेटर दैट इज इन दिस लेक्चर इट्स सेल्फ वी विल डिस्कस दी कैटेगरीज बट इन अ मोमेंट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी द डिफरेंट वेरियंट्स एंड द रीजन्स सपोर्टेड बाय दोज वेरियंट्स ओके so the first one is sim 7600 ce and this variant supports the region uh, of china and southeast asian countries okay so if you see this uh, eastern asia this is basically the china and you can see these are the southeast uh, asian countries okay and here if you see they have written some southeast asian countries so not all the countries uh, in this region are supported some of the countries are supported okay so if you live in china or southeastern uh, southeastern asian countries then you can go with this sim 7 Six double zero CE modem. Okay. After that, the next modem, next variant is SIM seven six double zero E dash H and E. Okay. So these variants are actually supported uh, in this region. You know uh, the region supported means what uh, the telecom operators which are present in this region, for example, China or southeastern Asia, the frequency at which they are transmitting uh, the data, those frequencies or those bands are actually supported by this particular modem. Okay, that's the reason why this uh, modem is uh, means uh, you can use this particular modem in this region and this region. Okay. so these two uh, these two variants are supported in europe so this is basically the entire europe and then southeastern asia you already know then west asia so this is the western asia uh, we also call it as middle east and after that africa so this is the africa then china you can see the china then the next one is south korea so this is the south korea okay this part is south korea so if you live in this country then uh, these modules you can use okay so just by looking towards this uh, table you you will basically get the idea that which module you can uh, use in your region okay again for sim uh, there is a next module which is sim 7600 a-h and this module is supported in north america that is this one so this is northern america here us is there and then canada okay so if you live in this region then straight away you can go with this particular module okay sorry variant after that the next is global variant sim 7600 g-h so it doesn't matter in which region you live in this globe okay uh, this this version you can this variant you can use it everywhere okay so all the bands are basically supported by this variant that's why you are able to use this variant anywhere in the world okay so this is the global variant after that the next variant is sim 7600 sa-h and this variant is supported in australia so you can say this is the australia and then this one is new zealand then taiwan is this one okay this is the taiwan and latin america is this one okay so if you live in these region then you can straight away go with this particular modem and for india again there are two modems uh, two different variants sim 7600 ei and sim 7600 ei dash h okay so if you see this is basically the indian uh, subcontinent okay so if you live in this uh, region then you can straight away go with this ei and ei dash h okay and uh, i have also tested these two modems uh, e dash h and e uh, in the india so you can also use this e dash h and e uh, if you live in india and uh, you know the modem that we are using in this course is basically this variant sim 7600 e dash h okay and uh, one more thing that i want to tell you is uh, this is basically global variant okay and uh, you can use this variant anywhere in the world so the price of this variant is almost twice uh, compared to the rest of the variants it's, be it's because it supports all the bands which are present in this world okay so basically this table gives you the idea which modem or which variant you can use uh, in your product okay after that uh, let's talk about the categories 
Uh, so if you see i have written the categories here and these are the speeds which are supported by these categories and uh, th this is the upload speed or uplink speed and this is the downlink speed or download speed okay uh, actually there are some more categories like category 1 category 4 then category 6 is there category 10 is there and uh, higher category will basically support the higher speed i already told you that for most of the uh, iot applications uh, 2g or 3g modem is enough okay and uh, you can see in this case the speed is too much 50 mbps for uploading uploading speed is 50 mbps and downloading speed is 150 mbps so we don't need this much uh, uh, speed for the application right uh, for the iot application so if you are using a 4g modem uh, in your uh, in your product then i will suggest you to go for category 1 because the category 4, 4 modem will be expensive compared to the category one that's it so you can go with this category one uh, in your design okay you know when we use category four for example uh, i will give you one example you are streaming the sd recording of the multiple cctv cameras then in that case you will need higher bandwidth okay so again if you increase the uh, count of cctv cameras then again you will need uh, means uh, higher bandwidth even more than category four so in that application you will need higher bandwidth and in that case you can go for or the higher categories okay so i hope that now you got the difference between the category one and category four okay and the category four i told you that it will be expensive compared to the category one it's because it supports higher bandwidth bandwidth means basically speed after that i will uh, give you one trick uh, to identify which one uh, is category 4 and which one is category 1 so if sim 7600 sim 7600 x is there and x can be e then a or uh, it can be then uh, uh, g or it can be sa then it can be ei so if sim 7600x is there then uh, it will be straight away category 1 device okay and if there is x dash h so uh, let's say sim uh, 7600x dash h is there then this basically belongs to category 4 device okay so if you see ei dash h so this is category 4 ei da uh, sa dash h category 4 then g dash h category 4 a dash h category 4 uh, e e dash h category 4 so this is just x okay so that's why it's a category 1 and also it's just a sim 7600 ei that's why it's category 1 but if you see this is actually exception uh, sim 7600 ce is basically category 4 device okay so i hope that now you got the idea like uh, which variant should be used in which region and also you know the difference between the different categories uh, for the different variants okay Alright, so that's what I wanted to tell in this lecture. I hope that you got every single thing uh, that we discussed in this particular lecture. Okay, now I will see you in next lecture.